All right. Well, this next team has, um, okay, podcasts are this really beautiful media that I feel like I don't indulge in quite enough. There's something very powerful about the human voice um, and the ability to receive a story asynchronously when you're doing other things. They kind of fit in uh, to the patterns of your life in a more naturalistic way. Um, and this next team would like to take the power of that media and make it more accessible for people's personal stories and really carry on the tradition of having an oral tradition within a family. This is Storio. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Rhys Long, this is Jeff Goldbeck, and along with Aaron Young, we are the developers of Storio. And so simply put, Storio is a platform for storytelling. And <laughs> The inspiration for Storio was our observation that there does there, there's no common uh, place to uh, preserve spoken stories. So those stories could belong to a family or a group of friends. And so our intent with Storio was to ser uh, sort of build a place where we could collect those stories and share them. So now what you guys will see, a story created with Storio. The features of Storio include the ability to record stories using the recording tool, to edit stories and add media such as photos and videos, and then to share your story either publicly or within private groups created by users. Stories can also be discussed through comments, browsed, and upvoted or downloaded. Back to you guys. Okay. Um, so now I'll discuss some of the technology that we used to build Storio. Um, and so the first view that you come to when using the app is the recorder. So what you see there is, well, so to build the recorder, we tap into the web audio API and that gives us access to the user's microphone. Here we have a visualizer uh, built around an analyzer node. And one of the challenges we had is that the default encoding format for the Web Audio API is uh, WAVE, and for faster uploads and downloads, we used the lame MP3 library to convert that to MP3. Um, so in using the application, you've saved that MP3, you're happy with, uh, with your recording. The next view you come to is this waveform in the editor. The waveform is made with WaveSurfer.js, and so you're listening back to your recording and you want to add media at different time points. So you can upload files from your file system, uh, videos, and what we're doing here is constructing an object with the files themselves and other metadata, such as how long do you want to show it for, um, captions, names, and the next challenge was, so we have these stories, we have these objects, how do we actually save these things and bring them together to create a story? All right, thank you, Reese. So, in order to save our stories, we were looking for a platform uh, in order to, as a cloud resource. Uh, we went to the same place I go to get my laundry detergent, detergent Amazon. Um, Amazon <clears throat> is great because it's secure, it has quick upload and download time, and it's very scalable. Uh, so, now I'm going to run through exactly how a file goes to and from Amazon S3 cloud storage. First, a request is made to Amazon Cognito, which returns a temporary authentication token. That token is used to uh, bypass and authenticate with IAM, uh, Identity Access Management. Uh, this ensures that the request did come from our site. Now, uh, <clears throat> from the site, uh, we get a temporary URL back, and uh, that represents our file, and we can use it like so. Uh, once we save the name of the, our file, we store it along with all of its associated metadata in our PostgreSQL database. Uh, we also store everything that's persistent on our uh, website, like comments, user data, story data, and group data. And uh, we also had a little challenge when uh, naming our files just to ensure that there were no duplicate names so that nothing got overwritten. We had to hash, we decided to hash the file blob itself using MD5 hashing, uh, a Spark MD5 hashing library. Uh, this has an added benefit of ensuring that the uh, file itself was not corrupt and there is no naming collisions. Uh, thank you all for listening to our presentation and we invite you to tell your story at storio.stream. All right, if you would like to, if you 
would like to vote for Storio, like the post, liked that pinned comment. I, I really liked like that idea too. I, I agree with what Asha was saying earlier that the power of spoken word is very compelling and I, I i personally am very big into podcasts and um and love appearing on podcasts too just if, if anyone's out there um who has one but the um <laughs> but yeah <laughs> i know and, and i like that i like the the ability to quickly create that content and share it with others it's something that i i remember now like growing up wishing that i had something like that for when my mom would tell like baby stories or stuff like that that i could have captured that in a better way so very cool